You feel like Moonwatcher got severely character assassinated and could have had a better character arc. She's the first known Nightwing seer in the mind reader in generations, but nothing is ever done with it. You like the fanon version of her better than the canon one. Carnelian was a grumpy skyman working through trauma surrounding the war, whose loyalty towards her queen that is insurmountable, and that could have been explored more, such as her fighting during escaping Perel for her team. She was killed off way too early in your opinion. One of your favorite Wings of Fire deaths is Tempests. You are defensive around people you like and often feel annoyed when they hang out with others. You have very high expectations for yourself and that isn't helped by how others treat you. You are likely a fan of her brother Winter. Chances are you are some flavor is sapphic. So let me run this ship by you. Sora Icicle Revenge Shipping? You likely to Hamilton phase and tried to correct your history teacher on the revolution. Chances are you do not know about the Burr insurrection, so you should search it up. Very interesting subject. Also, you like Percy Jackson as mo almost as much as you love Wings of Fire. You like to draw a lot and you find it calming. If you ever won the lottery, you would give most of the money to charity. Okay, major emo syndrome. You've likely listened to My Chemical Romance at some point. You likely have high expectations upon you or have had drama with your family. You are likely a Winter Watcher fan and think Moon improved Winter's life. But what did he do for her in return, huh? That's a topic for another older video though. Some of you have been yelling at me for not including him in my ARC 1 video. Since he reappears here, let me remedy that. You are a hopeless romantic who knows pickup lines but is probably too nervous to say them. You like romance novels a lot, and you probably read a few Bad Boy X Good Girls on Wattpad. If you liked her before the Dangerous Gift, you likely shipped her with Blaze. However, the Dangerous Gift really made you fall in love with her even more as, as it adds depth and warmth to her character. You may or may not ship her with Joe or Boa 3 instead now. You may have a major interest in psychology and likely have listened to one of those hour plus long interrogation and analysis videos on YouTube. While of course drawing in the foreground, I know my audience well. You also likely read No Sleep. You've had gender issues or body dysphoria in the past. You like laid a werewolf phase in the past. You're glad to be gone as a recurring video villain, but on the other hand, we need to see his full backstory. Shiny is one of your favorite Disney villain songs too. Okay, repeat from last time because I low-key forgot you had a book, but okay. You often find yourself mad at things for no reason and have at least 50 different coping mechanisms you cycle through. 10 bucks says you've taken at least three martial arts classes or got above a yellow slash orange belt. You likely tried playing an instrument at some point. Yes, having to play the recorder for school does indeed count. You've done musical theater and had a version of Peter Pan or Susical as one of your first shows. You are likely a fan of Thorn as she is one of the only reasonable queens we get to see a lot of. Chances are Mudwings are in your top three favorite tribes and you wish they got more exploration as Ruby is as a placeholder for a Queen Morhen until she proves herself. You probably feel incredibly nervous in all social situations. You, like Turtle, imagine yourself as the protagonist of all stories. You feel like Turtle called you out as a person and you wish you were nearly as powerful as he is. Your favorite Warrior Cat characters have to be Sleek, Whisker, and Maple Shade. You are positively re relieved that Wings of Fire has female villains unlike Warriors. You like Queen Scarlet a lot too. If you like Gil, chances are you like Shellheart from Warrior Cats and also enjoy Olives. You also feel kinda bad for him as he had to raise 30 sons as Coral never really took responsibility for his sons. You have been a straight A student and are also a gifted kid. You're a bit of a romantic but at the same time a realist, you just end up crushing on people and never go after them. Chances are you really like Egyptian mythology or Greek mythology. You think that children are smarter than anyone gives them credit for, just like Ostrich. You often keep your head on in difficult situations. You likely have a vested interest in cat genetics and human genetics. You find royal families interesting historically, like King Charles II of Spain. Your favorite musical is Heather's, but you admit Mean Girls is a bit good, but the movie is definitely better than the musical for that one. You have a complicated relationship with crypto, as in you like to watch it fail. All my apes, gone. You think Vulture is more of a mafia leader than anything else, and think that he would be a great antagonist for a novella or miniseries set in the Scorpion Den. If you like Rattlesnake, genuinely, you're also the same type of person who likes Rainflower. You have a tumultuous relationship with parental figures. You either want to be a therapist or you need a therapist. You like strawberries. You'll peacemaker return into Darkstalker 2.0 and wreak havoc upon all living dragons.